kwa majina naitwa Daniel Kairu Karanja na kujanga dialysis hapa Kenyatta University KU Rifaru hapa ndio nilianzia dialysis 2019 2017 ndio hiyo hii uonjo ilianza nikaanza nika, nika, nikaenda nika hospitali nikaambiwa niko na pressure kuambiwa niko na pressure nikaanza madawa madawa lakini sikuwa nafuatilia sana sikuwa nafuatilia hizo madawa ya pressure nikaenda tena nikaanza kuanza kufura fura miguu kidogo nikitembea kidogo nasikia miguu inafura lakini sikuwa nafikiria nikuwa nafikiria ni ugonjwa mwingine ya gout hiyo ugonjwa ya gout kwenda wakati nilienda nyumbani nikaanza kufuatilia mambo ya kunywa madawa kunywa hizo madawa ndio ziliniharibu sikuwa najua zitaniharibu lakini zikaniharibu nikaanza kufura miguu sasa sana nikaenda hospitali sasa ndio niliyefika kiwango nikaenda hospitali kwenda hospitali nikaenda gatundu ugonjwa sasa si nilikuwa na ugonjwa mwingine sasa sikuwa najua ni ugonjwa aina gani ya kuanza kufua ya kichwa kuanza kuzunguka hivi kwenda huko ndio walinifaalia hapa kuja hapa ndio nilianza matibabu miguu nilikuwa nikifika hapa nilikuwa mgonjwa kabisa kwa sababu hata sikuwa najijua nilikuja nikapelekwa kufika kasa tena kale kuja nikapelekwa ICU ICU nilikaa huko ndio niliambiwa na daktari kidney zangu zimeharibika na natakiwa urgent dialysis sasa kuambiwa mambo ya kidney ziliharibika nilistuka sana kustuka daktari akanieleza vile nitakuwa akaniambia vile nitafuatilia hiyo mambo ya dialysis na nimefuatilia tangu 2020 mpaka sasa sasa hii tangu nianze kuanza kuja hapa dialysis miguu ilianza sikuizi miguu haifuri mwili karudi nikaanza kutembea sikuwa natembea nikaanza kutembea na nafuatilianga sasa hii mambo ya dialysis wakati nikifuatilia mambo ya dialysis mambo yangu ilikuja ikakuwa mzuri na siku hizi natembea nafanya kazi hata na hakuna kitu ambaye siku hizi nikifuatilia mambo ya, ya daktari hakuna wakati ambaye utakuta utafanya kazi na na kujanga dialysis kwa wiki mara mbili kwa wiki Tuesday na Friday na tangu tangu siku hiyo sasa niko sawa kabisa ni nafanya kazi zangu nikifuata maagizo ya daktari mimi naonaka hata figo ikiwa imeharibika huwezi kufa ukifuatilia maagizo ya daktari sisi ndio tulikuwa wa kwanza mimi kwanza ndio wa kwanza kuja hapa na ile kitu inanifanyaka ni kuja hapa ni ile matibabu nilipata niliona hapo na ndio inanifanyanga nisitoke hapo hapa kuna kuwa na matibabu nzuri kwa sababu ukienda kwa daktari ukienda kwa nasi wale wako hapo matibabu ya hapa hata ndio naanga siendangi hospitali zingine sababu niliona nikifuatilia hapa ndio imenifanya niwe hivi niko sasa ile kitu nikashukuru ni wale madaktari wa hapa na nasis wale wanafanya wananifanyianga kazi hapa nimefurahi kwa sababu ya ile kazi nimefanywa hapa hata wale wafanyikazi wengine wanakujanga hapa wale wanatupatia chakula wale wanafagia hapa wote nimewashukuru sana my name is Yege Lisha Mikiamo I'm a senior renomas consultant working in Kenyatta University Research Referral Hospital I've been here since the hospital was fully commissioned to operation. I am very passionate about kidney care and uh, today having a theme of uh, bridging the knowledge, knowledge gap on kidney care, I would like to take you through our treatment modalities that we do here in Kenya University Referral. Hemodialysis is one of the treatment modalities that our patients go through here in our facility. It involves creation of an access where blood 
will be, will be withdrawn from the patient, taken to the machine where it will be washed, cleaned, and returned back to the patient. Our sessions here go for four hours, which is standard, standard approved four hours. And uh, these patients would come here in our facility every twice a week for dialysis sessions. Uh, peritoneal dialysis as, as our second uh, modality of treatment involves creation of an access where a synthetic fluid is introduced into the abdomen and left to stay for a while and then taken out, depending on the status of the patient. Uh, the advantage of this is that uh, it can be done at home and it is also uh, recommended for children and adults who find it a bit challenging coming from dialysis sessions in the hospital. It is uh, uh, still in the pipeline, as we speak, we, uh, we are yet to establish a uh, peritoneal, I mean, uh, pediatric unit where uh, the peritoneal dialysis is actively involved. The advantage of peritoneal dialysis is that uh, you find that uh, you can be able to be doing your things, you can do it at night or as you walk to work. Uh, the only challenge is that maybe uh, uh, getting time to changing fluids but it is generally one of the best and uh, it is uh, doesn't involve removal of blood for the, for the body it, once an access has been created uh, that is it you what you need to do is instilling of infu infusion and removing so it is out of a doctor's hand it is your own volition you can do it at home and uh, of infection that's when you can visit the facility. Transplant is our third treatment modality for CKD patients. It is the most advisable because it increases the quality of life and quantity of life. Unlike hemodialysis, with transplant, the transplanted organ will be able to, to take up the responsibility of uh, other functions like, uh, let's say, uh, uh, hormone production that uh, increases blood levels. So when you do transplant, it is good because you live a quality life after that. My name is Steve Olal Jacob. I'm a dietitian located at Renal Unit at Kenyatta University, teaching referral and research hospital. Here we manage cases of uh, renal issues. In addition to that, a patient may have uh, other medical conditions apart from renal. So we take all those in consideration as we manage them through diet. To begin with, nutrition and renal disease is a journey that must be worked together. So in part of nutrition, we start by nutritional assessment to get the nutritional status of the patient. After getting the nutritional status of the patient, we have a planned intervention so one of the planned intervention that we are going to take is nutritional counseling we must ensure that the patient knows whatever is supposed to take for the condition so through this after doing the counseling we can we are now able to start our nutritional intervention that is follow-up follow-up can be based according to the need of the patient it's not uh, uh, one follow-up serving all but each patient may have a unique follow-up so through this follow-up we can be able to know to follow the patient up and know whether the patient is following whatever we, we discussed is there any adjustment in terms of nutrition that is supposed to be done and through this we are able to bridge the gap that is there especially the nutritional knowledge gap that could be there so it helps us manage our patient well. This year we are really looking forward for all our patients to be well acquainted with the information in managing their conditions especially the renal conditions so I would rather urge them to see nutritional counseling or nutritional intervention regularly so that they be acquainted with all this information. My name is Dr. Gizua Joffrey. I'm a physician at KU Teaching and Referral Hospital. Uh, the kidney is a vital organ. Not only does it remove waste products from our body, it's also very important in maintaining our blood pressure. 
and also in production of other red blood cells that are important in preventing anemia. Currently, we have over 500,000 patients diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, out of whom 5,000 of them are undergoing hemodialysis. So how do we prevent this? One, it's very important for us as Kenyans, reviewed by a, few, for you, by a doctor at least once every year, where these tests can be taken. And for those who already have been diagnosed with chronic kidney disease or any other comorbidity, diabetes, b hypertension, to be on close follow-up by your doctor at uh, the nearest facility where they can walk you through the journey and prevent you from getting uh, the complications of these systemic diseases. Here at KU Referral Hospital, we are a premier institution with leading expertise that are willing to work with you hand in hand towards better kidney care and towards better health.